Hi and welcome to a new video. Are you trying to install an app but it shows a message that says your account has been disabled in the App Store and iTunes? In this tutorial, I will show you the possible reasons why you are encountering this issue along with 5 simple ways to fix this and get your account to work again. Let's go! Before we begin troubleshooting this error, it is important to know first the different things that may have caused your account to be disabled. First, you may have consecutively entered a wrong Apple ID password multiple times. Apple has a security feature which temporarily locks you out from an account if you exceed the number of password attempts. Second, you may not have signed in with your Apple ID for an extended period, which caused you to be forgotten by your device. Lastly, you may have billing issues such as outstanding or unpaid amounts which has been due for a long time already. Now, let's look at 5 effective solutions to resolve this problem. The first thing you can do is wait 24 hours before trying to sign in again. This is advisable for those who have entered the wrong password repeatedly. But if the error still persists after that, then try to reset it instead. To do this, open the settings on your iPhone, tap on your name at the top, select Password and Security, and sign in to your iCloud account to proceed. Once you're signed in, click Change Password. After that, you have to enter your current password, fill in a new one, and re-enter it to verify. Then press Change to complete the process. If you couldn't reset the password from settings or you don't remember your password anymore, you can visit iForgot.Apple.com on any browser. Type in your Apple ID email, solve the CAPTCHA, then click Continue. Afterwards, enter the phone number you use with your account, hit Continue and simply follow the on-screen instructions to proceed. Sometimes, this error is caused by a software glitch. If so, you can easily fix it by logging out and logging back into your iCloud account. The first step is to go to the Settings app. Then tap your name, scroll down, and click Sign Out. Select the options you want to save locally on your iPhone as a copy of your iCloud data. Then hit Sign Out again to confirm. You can enable everything here. Once it's done copying your data, wait for a few seconds and sign into your Apple ID again. Click Sign into your iPhone and enter your Apple ID and password. It will also ask for your device's passcode and give you the option to merge your iPhone data with iCloud or not. Select Don't Merge here. After you've successfully signed in, try and check if you can now download apps. If you have unpaid charges or subscriptions, you must settle all of them, so you can bring back your account. But if you think that it might be just a billing issue, then you should check your payment method or address and update them. To begin, open Settings, tap on your name, press Media and Purchases, and select View Account. This will redirect you to the Account Settings screen. Proceed by clicking Manage Payments and filling in with the required credit or debit card details, including your correct billing address. Then hit Done to confirm. After a while, your account should now be enabled. But if none of the previous methods work for you, the last resort would be to directly contact Apple for help. First, open your browser and visit the Apple Support website at support.apple.com. Select the device you are using, then choose Forgot Passcode. This will automatically bring you to a page that contains the next steps and where you can either chat or call an Apple support representative. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!